At nine, Warren County may have to go back to the drawing board or ask the voters for more money in order to build a new courthouse. And that is not welcome news to some business owners in downtown Indianola. KCCI's Chris Gothner is covering Warren County tonight. When we stopped into Indianola Glass Creations, owner Rachel Hall was the only person inside. She attributes the lack of customers to the view outside her window. It's just awful. Temporary fencing surrounds barren land at what was the Warren County Courthouse. Hall considers it an eyesore. You got a black fence around the middle of your downtown area. I mean, how many people want to come in and see that? They don't. The county demolished the outdated and unsafe courthouse after a years-long saga that included a failed 2016 bond referendum. Voters finally passed a $29.9 million bond issue last year, and crews were set to break ground this month. But not so fast. The bids are in, and they're $7 million over budget. Now county supervisors have three options, rebid parts of the project, redesign and rebid the whole thing, or go back to voters asking for more money. Now, I called the DCI group. They're the project manager. They wouldn't comment, but instead referred me to Warren County Attorney Doug Eichholz. He told me that crews probably won't break ground here until the spring of 2020, no matter what the county board decides. Eichholz admitted another referendum would be a tough ask, but Hall is not happy about any of this. I personally think they all should be fired and someone else put in charge. I'm afraid that I'm going to have to close. Uncommon Grounds coffee owner Ashley Martin says she's also anxious. The longer it's closed down and we don't have a courthouse there, the less traffic the square is going to get. County supervisors plan to meet again Tuesday. Covering Warren County in Indianola, Chris Gothner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.